This is Rini Kaina from APN and you're watching the latest updates on Arunachal Pradesh. In a meeting conducted by Deputy Commissioner Talopotong along with Arunachal Chamber of Commerce and Industries of Itanagar Capital Region Administrations on Thursday, the representatives of various banks in the Harlagan Circle informed that banks' customers are not accepting coins given by the banks. During the meeting, issues like non-acceptance or non-circulation of coins, shortage of cash, third-party vendors issuing cash outside ATMs, and working of ATMs were discussed. The representative stated that there is a general notion amongst the business community and public that coins are no longer in use and proper awareness needs to be created. And also, ACCI President Tar Najum told that Necessary actions would be taken up to create awareness amongst the business community regarding the misconceptions of coins. Arunachal's Environment and Forest Minister Mama Natum visited the Patanjali Yog Pit and Research Institute in Uttarakhand on Thursday and had a meeting with Swami Randeep and Acharya Balakrishna to discuss the prospect of setting up a state of the art biodiversity park in Arunachal Pradesh and carrying out scientific research and documentations of the state's biodiversity. The minister also emphasized the event and use of traditional systems of medicine such as Ayurveda and Siddha in India, particularly in Arunachal, and asked the Patanjali Research Institute to create such facilities in Arunachal Pradesh. The university has agreed to consider filling up the vacant PhD seats with ST candidates on merit basis after the All Arunachal Pradesh Student Union sought suspension of the ongoing PhD admission at Rajiv Gandhi University. According to the union, out of 138 vacant seats, only 56 APST students have been selected. As per the central norms, there is 27% reservations for OBCs, 15% for SCs, and 7.5 reservations for STs. The university said that it is following the Government of India reservation policies for 